First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, or Karkadash. Double honors to the elders who preach the word truthfully and sincerely in the name of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, or Karkadash. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. In the name of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makar Kadash. I say Shalom uh, to you, Akim, out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson. Uh, this is another uh, recent news article from uh, RT.com. As of January 9th, 2023, and it reads Beijing deploys troops near Taiwan. The joint combat strike drills are extended to discourage separatism, according to Chinese officials. Uh, China has announced a military exercise near Taiwan on the eve of visit by a German and Lithuanian lawmakers to the self governor island. The drill has been described as counting separatist forces. A training exercise was announced on Sunday by Colonel. Shai Yi, uh, the spokesperson for the Eastern Theater Command of the People's Liberation Army. He said it would involve sea and air pa uh, airspace maneuvers around Taiwan, focusing on landing strikes and bushwhacks assault action. And it says uh, the exercise was designed to test combat capabilities of the troops and resolutely counter, counteract the proactive actions of external forces in Taiwan independent separatists, a statement said. Taiwan is a Chinese island that served as the latest bastion of national forces during the 1940s Civil War. It is self-governed, but is recognized as part of China by nations. The island's military reported detecting that at least four PLA ships on Monday along with scores of military aircraft in the Taiwan Strait. It says naval, aerial, and ground assets were monitoring the situations and ready to respond. The exercise comes amending a visit to Taiwan by delegations of German MPs from the Freedom Democratic Party, which is part of the country's ruling coalition. The group is uh, being led by a merely aimed strike Zimmerman, the chair of the uh, Bonska Defense Committee, and Jonas. Joannes uh, Voig, a the deputy chair of the uh, party. So now Salaki, if I didn't pronounce those names correctly. It says during their, during their fourth day trip, they will meet a number of top Taiwan officials, including President Xi Yingwen, Premier Sun Jin Chang, and William Tin Ku the chair of Taiwan's National Security Council uh, Administration Foreign Affairs officials reported. The visit is won by several by foreign MP as scheduled for this week according to Taiwan's diplomats. Separatist delegations from Lithuania headed by Larskos Kanaskanasos, the chair of the preliminary National Security and Defense Committee arrived on the island on Monday. Another group of lawmakers came on Sunday in Port Paraguay, led by Carlos Mara Lopez, the president of the National Parliament. Beijing considers any treatment of, of Taiwan as a sovereign nation including former visit by the former officials and undermining the one China policy that outlines its claims to the island. China of, uh, officials have accused Washington of deliberately eroding the long-standing arrangement.
This is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 7. And, you know, this scripture revolves around the uh, tensions between uh, China uh, versus Taiwan and then Beijing versus Washington. As you see, uh, I believe I read the last part of that paragraph. It was saying, uh, I believe Beijing was uh, blaming uh, Washington over this, uh, you know, over the uh, South China Sea, which I, Taiwan, because Taiwan, I mean, because China still look as Taiwan is part of them as the mainland China. After the separation from them from 1949, as you know, Taiwan look at itself a self governor and self sovereignty uh, island, you know. And that's why, you know, Beijing blamed Washington for this, to getting involved in this, to protect Taiwan, and to have uh, Taiwan separate from mainland China with the one China policy is still going into effect. And they still have Taiwan as part of, uh, you know, uh, the mainland China, you know. This is the book of Mark. I just want to add a note to that. This is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 7. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must need be, but the end is not yet. The end shall not be yet, meant to say, so I can. And this is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 8, and it reads, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows, right? Because we are in an a, we are in that beginning stage process of a, uh, you know, a uh, beginning of sorrows. Because we see an uh, increase of these nations are gearing up, uh, preparing for war. That's why we've been seeing a uh, full escalation of uh, trainings. Military trainings, military buildups, military nuclear capabilities between the nations and different kingdoms as well, too. You know, because those tensions are definitely stirring up over there in the South China Sea of uh, Taiwan and uh, the South China Sea of China, of mainland as well, too. So the tensions are definitely stirring up between uh, China and Taiwan, you know. And you have, uh, as I've been mentioning previously, in my videos of, uh, you know, you have a uh, United States versus an unofficial ally with Taiwan, you know. So with that, uh, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying of this news article that I just brought out about uh, Beijing uh, recently uh, deployed troops near the Taiwan. So with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. Once again, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders who preach this word truthfully and sincerely. In the name of Yahweh, Bashem, El Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash, and Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe. Preaching the word truthfully and sincerely in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Makakadash. And until next time, I will say Shalom.